if this doesn't solve my problem, then I'm officially an idiot when it comes to steering on cars. I got in way over my head. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are going to be doing another Patreon featured request. The last Patreon request from Jesse was the trebuchet, which was a whole barrel of fun uh, and fails. This one I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit more successful with. Uh, this comes from Shy Fox, and Shy Fox requests a Russian Maz transport truck. Now, if you don't know what that is, which I didn't and I had to Google it, it looks something like this. So I think for the first time in a long time, I'm going to actually use mods, but I'm only gonna use mods for the tires because the the big, the, the vanilla big tires are just not, they're not heavy duty enough for this thing. So we need it in order to get this look, I think we're going to use uh, some of the modded tires available in the workshop. But everything else, I think I can keep pretty much vanilla without losing too much of the detail. Now there's a lot of different versions of this truck. You can see like there's this one here that has all these weird angles and stuff, which I don't want to have to deal with in, in uh, Scrap Mechanic Vanilla. But most of them, oh, there's this one here with, I think that's like similar to the other one, but actually slightly different. Um, there's this one that has like, a, it seems like it's a one piece with the trailer thing. But then there's this one that doesn't have a trailer on the back. There's this one, which I think is the same as that and has a, a thing attached to it. So one of the challenges I think I'm going to do is after I build the truck, it's a transport truck. What are we going to transport and where are we going to transport it to? So we're going to come up with some huge type of transport thing as well. And I'm going to see how the truck does that I've built and transporting something big and heavy up a mountain. I don't know if it's gonna work and I'm probably gonna have to do some crazy stuff. I might put thrusters in it just for fun and we'll see what happens. Let's get to it. So I think uh, I would initially want to use metal, but I don't want it to be too heavy. So I think I might use concrete and concrete kind of looks better anyway when it comes to painting. So I'm gonna use concrete as the main uh, body material. And I'm trying to figure out, I so I'm on my second monitor over here is where I have the picture now. I'm trying to figure out where I want to start. Um, the wheels I'm going to have, so I'm going to show you which wheels I'm going to use actually. Uh, so here are the normal big wheels and I'm going to be using these. So there's a huge difference between these for sure. Uh, because these things, I mean, next to this, this, these things just look kind of pathetic. Let's actually set them upright on a wall just for a better comparison. Actually, now that I look at it, that one might be way too big. Is there another size here? Do we have another size? That one might be a little bit more reasonable. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. All right, so this is now our wheel of choice, which is actually pretty darn big. I'm hoping that the bearings and stuff can handle it. I don't know how heavy this thing is either. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start by just building the, the cabin of it first, and then I'm gonna add the wheels. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this wheel for reference in order to build the cabin. This is gonna be a non-functional wheel that I'm just gonna have here for size reference but we're gonna go on the sunny side. So I'm gonna time-lapse most, if not all of the uh, actual build of it. If anything interesting happens or I have some interesting notes to share, then maybe I'll pause the time-lapse and talk a little bit. Um, but after the time-lapse, we're going to get into figuring out what the trailer that we're gonna transport is going to be. And I think I'm actually gonna attach it like with a bearing. So it's like a realistic type of trailer um, attachment. And then we'll go up one of these mountains or something and see if we can not tip ourselves over or fall off the mountain. We're basically gonna be playing like spin tires, aren't we? I've never played the game, but it reminds me of the stuff that you see in that game. All right, let's get to it.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting pretty good progress on this thing. Unfortunately, I am running out of time. This is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. I'm at like an hour and a half on the recording right now. Um, this always happens when it comes to like modeling something. I always get way too much into like looking at the pictures and the details and trying to make sure I got my dimensions and my uh, just... At making, making sure the scale is, is right. I'm trying to make it as to scale as possible. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. I'm really liking the way that the bumper looks. And I think I, it's hard to tell in the picture. There's something here in the front of the bumper. And I think it's probably a tow hook. So I just put this here. I'm not entirely sure what that is in the front bumper there yet. Um, but we got our mirrors. We got working doors to get in. This actually took a little bit of... Uh, uh, maneuvering to actually make this so that the doors can open enough but still have the mirrors on them so that we can get out because otherwise we get stuck but I figured what we're going to do is end off this episode we're going to make this a part two just like the trebuchet um, part two is going to be getting the uh, the transport the rear transport section all situated because there's some complicated stuff going on there it seems like as far as like some design elements and things go and what I really want to do is focus on making the trailer for the next episode so that we can actually drag something but right now I think we have a pretty much functional front por portion so we're going to take this thing off-roading see how it handles see what it does see if any of the adjustments need to be made to make it run better maybe add some thrusters in here if it goes a little bit slow I'm really not sure how it's going to perform and you know what just to make things a little bit more even I'm actually going to um I'm gonna strengthen these and put some weight back here because right now it is super front heavy because we have nothing in the back here so I'm just gonna take a slab of metal and we are just going to stick a big actually I'm gonna make this a little bit easier on myself we're gonna put it all on one little block like that and we're just gonna take a big slab of metal and we're just gonna put a bunch of metal in the back. Okay, so now let's take this thing for a test drive. I have not tested it at all. I have my my engine set one down from max. I don't know if max would have been too much, but let's find out. Oh, this thing is slow for the acceleration. Oh, I'm glad the steering appears to work though. This thing feels actually kind of cool. The steering, if, if anything, the steering is a little bit too sharp. I think the wheels is because the wheels are so big. Uh, that the steering is always a little bit wonky when you have bigger wheels. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's probably, is that an issue with the real thing? I don't know if that's an issue with the real thing or not. I may, I'm looking at the pictures. I don't know if I'm too far out in the front compared to the normal one, but it looks, it looks relatively similar. I don't know if I could shorten the front at all though. I feel like this is right. I might be able to shorten the ladders at least on the sides. But uh, I'm actually going to, let's turn it up to max power. We have our engines in the back over here. Oops, I gotta remember to open the door before we, uh-oh, am I really stuck? What about this side? Can I get out of this side? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, getting in and out of this thing is not the most convenient at all, but we can do it at least. All right, let's set the, max, the engines up to max. See how this thing handles at max power. Oh, now I gotta make sure I close the doors. All right, here we go. This is max power now. Man, this thing is heavy. I, that, I'm glad I made it out of concrete and not uh, uh, metal, because metal would have been really bad. Oh, we got to tip over. Oop, tires are doing wonky things there. All right, but I feel like it's handling pretty well now. Ah, ah, ah what are you, what's going on? Uh, these steering bearings are bad, aren't they? You know, I almost kind of want to put like a, a steering rod type thing in here for the steering instead of what I have now. That might make it a little bit more stable. You know, let me do an experiment with that. Let's see what we can do with that just now. I hope this doesn't take too long. Um, I'm not too familiar with making this kind of stuff. I've done it before but it was a little bit confusing to me. So let's see what we can do here. All right, first thing we're gonna need to do is actually measure the distance uh, from one side to the other. So this is how big we need to make our steering system. Okay, let's see if I can remember exactly how to do this. So I definitely want a T intersection there and we're gonna have it curve. All right, so with that up, now we need some more bearings here. Now we can start extending this out this way. 
and the middle. All right, I'm, I'm confusing myself a lot here because there's a couple things I want to happen. I want suspension to be functional, but I also want the steering rod to be working. So we have to make bearings that will turn in the middle here, but these bearings also have to be attached to a hard point so they have something to turn against. But attaching them to the hard point will make it more difficult for the suspension to work. And then I realize I want the suspension to be on the end, so I need to actually make some suspension points over here as well. So there's a lot of... This is a lot more intricate than I thought it was, and it's delaying me a lot more than I've been meaning to, but let's see what we can do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have something here, and I really don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to find out, though. And I also have no idea how to tell if these are going to be in the right direction or not. Uh, oh, I didn't weld something. Always remember to weld. There we go. I think everything else should be... Wait, is that not... Did I not center... Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Did I really do that? And then we weld. Okay, so now let's see if this has any semblance of working whatsoever. So now we steer one way and we steer the other. I think this could work. I think this could work. So here's what I have. Here's what I'm hoping is going to happen. So I have this bearing here, which actually I have to paint. So this bearing here is what's going to allow it to... It's not going to be double wishbone style. So the wheels are going to camber as the suspension on the sides over here activates. But uh, this is going to be attached um, to the bottom as well by a hard point. So it's going to pivot around that hard point with that bearing, allowing the suspension to actually activate. And then the way that the rest of the system should work here is it should keep the tires from spinning around the single bearing with the normal steering. So let's see if this works here. I think this is it. I hope this is it. Please let me get this right. And go. Does it fit? It looks like it fits. Okay, now I have to make sure that the... Uh, the, uh, suspension is actually connected, which I don't think it is right now. No, it is not. So we have to put an extra block here. Weld that, weld that. Alright, so now I should just be able to hook this up to the steering. And let's see if this works. I should put a suspension right there, to be honest. I think we can still do that. Alright, now let's see how this thing looks from underneath. Alright, we got some suspension. I'm um, going to make it a little bit stronger. We're going to go to five since we have a lot more suspension. We have, uh, instead of one suspension per tire, we now have two suspension per tire and then this extra suspension in the middle. That's all hooked up. Let's see if it actually steers. Moment of truth. It's not doing anything. Is it? Is it? It's hooked up, right? What if I reverse one of them? Why isn't it doing- it was working on the thing. Why isn't this working all of a sudden? It was working on the ground, kinda. Oh! It's because of the suspension being welded, actually. We can't have suspension over there like that. Yeah, that was a stupid oversight because... Ah, oh man, that's unfortunate. Because having this suspension welded like that actually just prevents the movement from ever happening. So unfortunately, we might only be able to have the single suspension for the entire axle. Oh well, I'm not, I'm not that familiar with um, suspension systems, but if we delete these, we should at least have the more stable steering at the cost of um, independent suspension per tire. So let's see if this uh, solves our problem. All right, now... That has a lot more articulation. Wait a minute, this is not what I was expecting it to be either. It's doing a weird thing again, because you... Alright, so right now I think I only have one steering attached to this back one. The steering is attached to the back bearing, which is... It's this bearing right here. So what I thought should happen is when this bearing... When this bearing steers, it should move this front part left and right. But what actually happens is the front part doesn't move left or right. It actually just rotates rather than moving. I could have sworn that I made something like this before and it worked. I think I might have just went, made it too complicated, than it, more complicated than it had to be, and now I just confused myself and for some reason is not working. <gasps> Wait, I got it. I figured it out. We can have independent suspension still, and this is how. And I think it'll solve this problem. 
Please let this be the answer. Don't let me be an idiot. Don't let me be an idiot. <laughs> okay, rather than having two suspensions, I need one. And the one has to be centered so that the suspension can act as a pivot point for this exact thing. And that'll actually prevent these from moving, the tires from moving forward and back. So they will have to pivot around this point here. There we go. And please let the steering work now. Please let the steering work now. Please let me solve, please let that solve the problem. All right, our suspension is really weak, but here we go. What? That should work. Why isn't that working all of a sudden? I think I need more bearings. I think I missed a set of bearings. I think I need to actually add a bearing on the top side of these as well. This is so many bearings just for one. Am I, I, I must be doing this way more complicated than it has to be, but if this doesn't solve my problem, then I'm officially an idiot when it comes to steering on cars. I got in way over my head. And now I'm almost, I'm, I'm past two hours now. This is one of the longest scrap mechanic recordings I've done in a long time. So now let's make sure everything is welded. Okay, please, please work. Please work. Please, Mr. Has, uh, Maz, Russian Maz thing. Please work. Moment of truth. Left. Right. Left. Right. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? I can't see why those things wouldn't pivot. Maybe it's just not strong enough. Maybe if you just add more steering, it'll solve it. Nope. You can see it wants to steer, but something is blocking it. All right, so the weird thing is I've made this steering before, and here's the one that I made before, and I can't remember what I actually put this on, but this one I know works. And I guess... Oh. This one actually pivots around this center point here. Maybe that's my problem. I don't have it pivoting around the center point. Hmm, let me try that. So now if I move this and put it here in the center, but I'm also going to need to put bearings here if I want it to um, rotate. Okay, let's see if this works. Please let this be the one because this is like almost exactly like the other one. Now, the only difference is these side things here. These, um, these side uh, suspensions are a new experiment for me having the articulated suspension like that. All right, here we go. <gasps> Wait, it's like wants to. Wait, it's reversed, it's reversed. Let's try the right way. <gasps> that made all of the difference. All right, let's see if I can, I think I can make it stronger by adding more steering here. Let's see if this still works. Oh, it works so well. Oh, this feels so good now. All right, now let's see. We're gonna add some gas to it. Where are those engines? Put this engine over to this wheel. Oh, where's the, where, I don't even know which one is the right, I think it's that bearing. All right, so now we can compare. We have the new wheel thing in the front section, which now I have to duplicate in order to uh, add to the back. And then we have the old wheels in the back. So let's watch the difference, see if we actually make a difference in how floppy th these things are. All right, well, oh, that's bad. Of course I run into the only other object in this world. All right, but you can see so far, I'm turning left right now. Let's see what happens when we hit this thing. Ooh, we can see the suspension acting there. You can see the rear wheels want to up. Oh, there goes the rear wheel, but the front wheels are just staying stable. We figured it out, people. Now my quick, whoa. All right, well, that was not intended. Now I wanna see, did, does the suspension work? Do I have the independent uh, suspension acting? So let's drive up onto this thing over here. <gasps> it works. Look at that. It totally works. Oh, I am so proud of myself. I know it was probably painful for you experts to watch that, but that uh, figuring that out on my own was actually, uh, it feels good to be able to do it. All right, well, I'm glad that that worked. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Let me know if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see this thing transport for the next episode. Thanks again to Shy Fox for your awesome Patreon support, uh, hitting that top tier mark there. That uh, contributes a lot to the channel. And if you are a subscriber of mine that also wants to contribute to the channel and also have the opportunity to have fun perks like these, then check out the link in the description to my Patreon. 
All of that is super appreciated, and thanks to all of you who are currently supporting me on Patreon as well. And don't forget, if you're not part of the Scrapper community on Discord, join that there too. It is free. It's a way to interact with fellow fans of the channel, fellow gamers, and myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in part two. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay.